What is Alpha Migos? Today we're talking about the density of humid air. So not just dry air, but when we have water in the air as well. So there's always some form of humidity. We'll be going through equations to use to calculate it and an example. So if you wanted to calculate the density of just regular dry air, so that you're assuming that there's no humidity in there, then it's actually quite easy. We just use the ideal gas law where pressure equals the density times the gas constant times T, where T is in Kelvin, the gas constant is in, is actually 287.0, Five eight uh, joules per kilogram Kelvin. Uh, rho is just density in kilograms per meter cubed, and P is pressure in pascals. But on any given day, the humidity is not zero, and depending on where you are, it might be ranging from five percent all the way up to ninety-five percent, and this can result in an error of up to about two percent in the density of your error that you're calculating. So knowing that, how do we calculate? How do we take into account the humidity? Well, we use one equation here, which looks a little bit daunting, but we'll go through it step by step. And it's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. So what we do is we say the density of air equals P hum uh, density of humid air, sorry, equals the pressure of dry air. So we're effectively segregating the pressures that the dry part of the air and the water vapor are having that are creating. So the pressure of the um of dense of the dry air divided by the gas constant of the dry air times the temperature plus the pressure of the water vapor divided by the gas constant of the water vapor times temperature. So gas constant of dry air is again 287.058 uh, joules per kilogram Kelvin. The gas constant of the vapor is 461.495 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Now, the temperatures are quite easy, we can just measure that. But what about the pressures? Like when we measure the pressure of air, we literally just measure the total pressure, we can't really break it into the dry pressure and the wet pressure, the vapor pressure. So how do we go about calculating what these two are? Well, if we know what the humidity is, and we will say this is represented by five, and this ranges from 0 to 1.0, where 1.0 is 100% humidity, 0 is 0% 0 humidity. We know now that the pressure due to the water vapor equals phi times the pressure that we are measuring. Sorry, that the um, saturation pressure of the, um, if the uh, humidity is 100%, not the one that we're measuring, we'll get to that in just a second. So the pressure of 100% humidity times phi. So the pressure of the air, if you have 100% humidity, equals 6.1078 times 10 to the power of 7.5 times temperature. And this is in degrees Celsius, not Kelvin. So make sure to put that in degrees Celsius. Divided by temperature plus 237.3. That's a 3 here. And now we're going to times this entire equation by 100 to get it into pascals. If you don't do this, it will be in hectopascals and it's, it's fine, it just is one extra step to do. So I'm gonna put in 100 here just to make sure it's in pascals to begin with. So once we know what the uh, saturation pressure is, we can then figure out what the, uh, the pressure of the water vapor is in our air. Now, how does this help us? So we figured out one unknown. What about the other unknown, which is the uh, pressure due to the dry air? Well, we can actually calculate that quite easily with another equation. So the pressure due to dry air equals just pressure the total pressure that we measure minus the pressure due to the vapor and this is because we have assumed and quite well that we can divide the pressure based on that has been created by the dry air from the pressure created by the vapor so they can go together in this equation and we can divide them easily so by going through this process we have we know what the pressure that we measured was for the entire air we can then calculate what the pressure due to the vapor is if we know what the humidity is we can calculate what the pressure due to the dry air is factor all these in and calculate the overall density density of the humid air. So let's go through an example just to show you how this works. So let's say on a regular day, the temperature equals 293.15 Kelvin, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So a nice uh, stable day. The pressure equals 100,000 pascals. So again, that's fairly standard. The percent humidity, uh, RH, equals 50%. So that means that phi equals 0 0.5. What is the density of the humid air? Well, it's actually quite easy. So 
Let's start off first by calculating the saturation pressure if we, the entire air had 100% humidity. So PSAT equals, using this equation just here, coming over here, 6.1078 times 10. Now it's 7.5 times the temperature in, in Celsius, which is 20, divided by 20 plus 237.3. Now divide times in this by 100 in total. And what this comes out to be is 2,338.09 pascals. So that means that the pressure of the water vapor section is just PV times, uh, PV equals phi times P sat, which equals 0 0.5 times 2,338.09, which comes out to be 1,169.0. For five pascals. It's probably a little bit more significant numbers than we need to go, but whatever. Anyway, the pressure due to the dry air now, so we have figured out what the um, pressure due to the vapor is, we know what the temperatures are, we know what the gas constants are, we just need to figure out this last value here. So, and we can do this by saying the pressure due to the um, dry air is the total pressure, which we have measured, minus the pressure due to the water vapor, which is just what we calculated here, which means it's 1,000, 100,000, sorry minus uh, 1,169.045, which equals 98,830.96 pascals. Okay, so plugging all these values, these two values into here, plus the uh, temperature and the two gas constants, we now have the density of the humid air equals 90. 8,800, so this value here, and 30.96, divided by the gas constant for air, 287.058, times the temperature in Kelvin, which is 293.15, plus now the um, pressure due to the vapor, which is 1,169.045, divided by the gas constant for water, in the water vapor, I should say, 461.0.495 joules per kilogram Kelvin times the temperature, which is 293.15. And if you calculate this, this part comes out to be 1.1744471 plus 0 0.0086412. And these are both in kilo, uh, kilograms per meter cube. So you can see the amount that's coming from the dry air, the uh, density is way more than the humid air, than the um, water vapor. But if you were to neglect this, you can see there's still like a percent or two that you could be um, neglecting if this humidity goes up quite a lot. And the overall density that we have is, when we summate these two, 1.183 kilograms per meter cubed. So that is the answer. What is the density of the air at these, um, oh, atmospheric conditions for today. So that's the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to like it. If you want to see more like this, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.